And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and loop your thread through it and then start sewing this. And a lot of guys have different styles of sewing that. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll start on the bottom and you have one needle going one way and the other needle going the other way. And you, you loop them back and forth like this. And then uh, that's going to be a really strong, you know, on the, on the, your sheath. Here's, here's Michael's sheath that he's making right now. And this is a bushcraft sheath. And then when he gets done, he'll have a nice, really clean sewing pattern right down the side right here. And then about a half inch of this leather will get cut off. It'll be super nice. And uh, we water wet form this. So it has a nice tight clip when he drops his knife in his sheath. And the leather is really strong. And when it dries, it's going to be like concrete. He'll be able to pop his knife in there like Kydex. It'll be awesome. This is a... Uh... Right now we have all the leather stuff up here because he's showing me some like how to do it because I've never done it before. We're making the loop right now. He's helping me do that. And I'm sorry that the lighting isn't the best because I'll show you our lights. We have one there, one there. <laughs> It'll get better. One there and then one there. But like this is just starting out. This is not, we don't have to be all fancy with it right now, but once it starts going and we start making more knives and sheaths and everything I'm gonna we're gonna rewire all this so we have about probably three four lights each to really light up this room but so this d-ring will spread this apart and this d-ring will be right here and then he'll have a bushcraft style drop down sheath so that when he puts his uh, knife sheath on his side it'll hook to the belt and then this drop down will actually drop it down farther so he can have his knife sheath right here. <clears throat> it'll be kind of like this. It'll be dropped down a little bit farther so when he moves around, it'll move with his leg. And then when he, when he doesn't want to have the drop down on there, he can take it off and put it on the regular belt sheath up here like this and carry it regular style. It'll be pretty nice. But <clears throat> right now, the, it's going to be all the way finished tomorrow because we have to let that dry and really form but right now we're just making the loop and he's teaching me all some stuff but I'll give you one last look around the knife room right now all those are gonna go away so that's gonna give us a lot more room that's gonna go go away so that's gonna give us a lot more room and we were gonna have to go buy some or find some but we got lucky uh, the, the countertops. Top, countertops yeah so that really helped us in that way. And they're perfect workbenches, as you can see how much stuff we have up there right now. But thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys later.